Alright, this is a smudge tutorial. Um, it's quite simple. Uh, I will give the link to the smudge brushes and I will give the um, the settings to the smudge brushes as well on the left or the right of this video. Um, okay, uh, find a render. Okay, I have mine here. I made a document. It's 400 by 100 pixels. Move your render in there. Get a good size for it. Remember to hold shift so it keeps proportion. Computer's really laggy. Okay, that's good for me. Okay, make that layer invisible. Go down to your first layer, your background. Make a white and black gradient. Hold shift, you go from the bottom all the way up to the top. Make it white in the middle and a little black on the sides. Um, make your render layer visible. Hit uh, control J seven times around there and uh, hide all those besides one. Get out your smudge tool and get out the plus with the 35 pixels. Like I said, these will be given uh, in the description. Turn on all your uh, shape stuff, your shape settings, those will be in the description as well. And uh, be sure it's on smudge, that'd be a good idea. Okay. Smudge settings are messing up. Okay, so smudge out as far as you can. As you know, just get get everything out there. Try to make it as far as you can out. Out. Okay, try to make it as far as you can out and get everything out. Okay, then make this make this a uh, color dodge. Really just go, go through wherever you want and make it whatever. I'm going to make mine color dodge. Okay, make your next layer, or next render visible. Smudge that out as well, as far as you can. Make this a. Uh, I want to make this lighten. No, I'll go through and let's see. I'm gonna make it linear light. Get your other render, smudge it out. You can do this as many times as you want. I'm just doing it until it looks good. Um, this will be my last one. I'll get get a good pattern with it. Smudge it out a little on the sides more. I always try to get the full signature. It'll uh, go out like the dread at the black lines. That'll be a good idea. Okay, uh, render your next render, but this time go into your smudge settings and turn off scattering and start smudging outwards. Make a uh, pretty, uh, make it pretty far out, but don't go too far. You're not gonna want to overdo it. Try to do something neat, but not too, uh, not too bad. All right, that's good enough for me. One more. All right. Set this to uh, one of your layers, depending on what you want. Just try to go with whatever looks pretty cool. Actually, make your next render visible, and then start looking at it like that. I'm gonna go with vivid light. Okay, click on your visible clean copy render and uh let's see, go to your blur tool, make it uh any pixel rather, just make it a soft soft uh circle and make your strength around let's say forty, fifty. And smudge around the edges to make it blend in a lot better. Alright, that looks good for me. Um, okay, I'm going to smudge a little bit more on the outside uh, of the render that's under this. 
turn on my scattering again, just to make it look different. Alright, that looks good to me. Alright, um, erase anything that you dislike. I don't like that right there. All the black in there is not really fitting. Okay, um, and that's, that's about it. Add your text. And, uh, the outcome really depends on the render and how you do the smudging. Um, and, uh, that's, that's pretty much the whole tutorial right there. Hope you like it, but um, yeah, there we go. Done.